Okay, I started the wet mulligan on it. First thing I did though is I took and I soaked it in my in the uh, in the sink just with hot water. And that's usually enough. In fact, actually, since our water is really hot, <laughs> the uh, it's definitely hot enough to uh, soften the collagen to make this moldable, and also for it to keep its shape once it's molded. Now this has molded and retention, plus it's tooled with a tri weave pattern, plus it has initials on it. And you can see how they fit in there. And as I mold it, I'm just working it and shaping it. Because I want it to be functional, but I also want it to be, again, I want it to be pretty. I want it to be aesthetic. I want somebody to look at it and say, damn, that's a good looking holster. And actually, I think it's a pretty good looking holster. <laughs> well, it is the front side of it, and I've got it curved. So, you know, because people have curves, and the back side of it. And what I'm doing is I'm just push, taking this and pushing it in to the uh, trigger guard to help for retention. A little bit on the, uh, well, most of it on the back, a little bit on the front. Don't want to do too much on the front because when you push it in, it's going to muddy the details a little bit. And that's about all I'm going to do. <laughs> Stay. There we go. And what I'm going to do is to just leave this sit overnight. That's good right there. And then tomorrow we're going to come back and re-burnish these edges because the uh, because the gum drag is water soluble. And when you hit it with the hot water to mold it, it does kind of dissolve the gum drag a little bit and makes those edges kind of uh, kind of rough looking. But that's okay. That's no biggie. Since we took all the time to uh, to burnish them before, they'll just come right back. And then after a good going over, a top coat and a, uh, a final buffing, it'll be ready to go. I think it looks pretty good. So next when we come back, we're going to work on top coating this thing. Another thing I do in order to ensure that it keeps that shape is I'll prop it up with a couple of mallet handles and just let it sit. Get back to work on it either tomorrow. If I look at it tomorrow and I, I determine that it's dried enough, I'll go ahead and do some more work on it. If not, I'll let it sit for another day. And we'll see you on the next video.